Hey everyone, welcome back to another Canterbury Bosses Survive. Yes, sir, I'm back in action. Back from visiting my brother. Yeah, we are here with a crazy weapon from the Apotheosis and Friends mod. Apotheosis? Something like that, who knows. We got the Apocalypse, and you may be looking at the damage and be like, Gamer, yeah, that does not do a lot of damage. Hold up, can't judge it by its damage. So you can see, it says the end of all, its power ascends beyond control, ascends. I don't know, I've never heard of the word ascends. But yeah, let's go ahead, let's use it here, and let me just, let me just show you what kind of power we're working with. The no type of frame rate power. So yeah, this might be a shorter episode. I think we have to test it on eternity mode bosses because you know, I, I feel like it's gonna be a fast episode. So might as well. Let's get to it though. I guess let's test out bosses in groups of three because you know, obviously the frame rate and stuff is gonna be gone and it takes a long time to kill uh, anything with this weapon. Well, it just takes a while for the projectiles to go away. So let's bring in three enemies here, three bosses, and they all died before this part even happens. They all died before the like projectile spam happens. We'll see uh, which boss will uh, live through the projectile spam, if any. I think I have an idea of maybe one that will live. This is gonna be a little bit harder here. I gotta spawn in the queen bee and I gotta scroll down a little bit to grab Turkor and Lepus. Okay, that actually wasn't that bad. It's not like the queen bee has somewhere to go. Ba boom, bada bing all dead it's too like framey there's not enough fps or the game is just not able to control it contain it for me to even spawn in a boss while all that's happening all right let's take our asses over here uh i guess i could only bring in the brain <laughs> there's not much else i could bring in because i have to type in eater over here in a separate area but let's bring in the eater Yes, sir. Another one dead. Let's head on down to hell and let me go ahead and bring in the dark mage while I'm down here. Might as well. Boom. Dark mage. See you later. And now let's go ahead. Let's bring in the wall of flesh. Of course. Boom. What's up, wall of flesh? See you later. Dying instantly to like that first swing. There's going to be a boss like it doesn't kill and we're just going to hear like the loudest, like just metallic noise ever. I have a feeling that's going to happen. Like metallic ting, 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 ting. We'll see. We'll see. While I'm down here, before I head back up to the surface, you know, let's fight the dungeon guardian. Why not? Let's fight him in hell. I'm switching it up. Boom. Oh, that was easy. Too easy. All right, we got a nice trio here. I guess I'm bigger than a trio. Technically, it's like four. Ba boom, ba da bing. Wait, is the destroyer dead? I still see his health bar. Wait for the projectiles to disappear. Did we kill him? <laughs> I see one treasure bag. I, I see the twins treasure bag. Hold up, what's going on here? Skeletron Prime. Skeletron Prime has entered dungeon guardian form. Okay, I have no idea what the hell that means. I'm assuming he's dead. And then what about uh the destroyer? What's going on with him? Okay, he's for sure dead. I see a for sure two treasure bags. I don't know what's going on with Skeletron. Don't know the exact details about uh, Eternity Mode Skeletron. Oh, well, well, let's move on. We got a lot of bosses to kill still. Let's get Plantera and the Golem out of here. Boom, boom. You know, this weapon is like 100% confirming that there's no more larvas anywhere. No more queen bee larvas because we would have definitely have spawned something by now. All right, let's bring in... Okay, this might get a little confusing here. Actually, here, let's bring in the Duke. And then I'm going to bring in Betsy. Nice little flying duo. All right, let's bring in the Ogre. Just uh, sit around, don't do anything too crazy. Akram. Random duo. A duo I never thought I'd see together. Speaking about a duo that I have seen together, though, is, of course, the Morning Wood and the ever screen and then go ahead and throw sand tank in there you know might as well let's get another nice flying duo the dutchman and the martian saucer all right this duo is gonna be a little bit harder i have to make it nighttime for this duo because you know this weapon it takes a little while to swing or at least the projectiles to disappear so i gotta bring in the ice queen and the pump king at night this is like the first time ever i've made it nighttime for them see you later all right, let's go say what's up to the boys. What's up, boys? I'm surprised you guys honestly haven't gotten killed yet. But, uh, you know, that's going to change today. Now, here we might actually kill a pillar. Let me go, like, over here real quick, okay? Because this should kill a pillar. Did I kill a pillar? Wow, I didn't. That's honestly surprising. There's that one. Oh, look how quick I am. Oh, I made it out of there. It's still laggy, though. Oh, my God. I thought I could, like, escape the lag. 
Okay, here we are, Stardust Pillar. This is probably our slowest pillar speedrun. Not by choice, really, but it's all good. There you go. Okay, for some reason, I ended up in space after killing that boss. Uh, let me check out a Thorium boss, of course. I doubt that this dude survives, but you never know. Nah, I doubt he's surviving this weapon. Hey, Moon Lord, what's up? Oh. <laughs> and just like that he's gone let's go ahead let's fight this trio here this should uh, be nice and fast one swing should take out these three and the fourth one yes sir all right and i think it might be time to take on some eternity mode bosses uh, i usually don't fight them but like i said for the sake of this video or this weapon you know we might as well but i think i'll do them i'll do them after the calamity bosses let's get to the calamity bosses let's start with providence what's up providence making sure i don't forget you and look my character's over here all of a sudden it's like if i start running while the weapon is attacking my character just starts taking off in a direction and i can't control him yarn what's up get him out of the way and then let's go ahead and bring in dog now let me just check real quick oh the boys are over here which means i can't fight dog over here this is the first time we're not fighting dog over there okay maybe not first time but it's very rare we don't fight him over there cosmic worm go ahead and bring him in bam dead will it kill a second phase or do i have to swing twice I think that's it. I think he's dead. I am not seeing him. All right, and let us take on Supreme Cal. Boom. This one I'm hoping is a fast one. Maybe I could just swing. Okay, seems like a no. Maybe right here, though, I could actually swing. Let's see. Where's the poker? Yeah. All right, that was uh, very nice, very poggers. Let's uh, let's take on the Eidolon Worm before we take on Draydon and his uh, trio, quadrio, whatever. Boom, Eidolon Worm, get him out of here. We already knew he was going to die. You ain't that hot shit you thought you were. Not anymore. Your own mod nerfed you. All right, Draydon and his boys. Actually, can't I can just summon in his boys, right? Boom, there's Apollo. Okay, and there's the other one. And then boom, there's Ares. And then we need uh, Thanatos. Where's Thanatos? Boom. All right, good luck. Let's hope everything dies. I think everything died. I hope everything died. Yeah, that's a lot of body parts, so it seems about right. All right, eternity mode bosses. The worst thing about these guys is finding the right place to spawn them in. Is this the right place for you? I hope so. Honestly, I might be fast enough to spawn them in and just kill them off before they can be like, no, this is not the right place. Let's see. Okay. I killed him. I, <laughs> I thought I messed up. Nah, I got him. Champion of Earth. That sounds like a hell type of boss. I was right. See, I always have to guess because I don't remember them. I just noticed that like my world does not really have like a hollowed area. Does it really not have a hollowed area anywhere? Is this hollowed? Oh, okay. Let's bring in Champion of Life. This sounds like a place that Champion of Life would be. A hollowed area. Oh, beautiful scream. All right, that was like a majority of them. We don't need to kill like every single one, do we? You get the idea. They'll, they'll probably die. If most of them are dying. I feel like the rest of them probably die. Let's spawn in this one and that's it. Uh oh. <laughs> nah, we got him. We got him. I thought I just uh, swung a little bit too early. All right, let's bring in the mutant. This is eternity mode mutant. So it should be a little bit tougher. Oh, I guess not. I guess he's not too much tougher. All right. Now, who do we have left? Ekdeath. Let's do Ek Death. Uganda Knuckles is now the last boss. But let's do Ek Death real quick. Oh, and he's gone. Very, very nice. Who else do we got here? Oh, we got some special bosses since we have this mod installed. So you can see the Lord is here. The Verboten one. Ascended Chibi. Calamity God. So, you know, let's bring in the Lord. The Lord has been defeated. Let's bring in the Verboten one. That one doesn't want to spawn. You shy. Let's bring in Ascended Chibi Devourer. Oh, that one's shy. Calamity God. Get him out of here. Calamity and God next to each other in a sentence doesn't work. Negates each other. Yeah, I kind of have like confusion on <laughs> and it won't go away. So I've been playing with backwards controls. But let us end it with, of course, the Ugandan Knuckles. Just kidding. You thought I forgot Bill. I cannot forget my boy Bill. All right. He's probably going to die really quickly, though. So whether or not I forgot him, it doesn't really matter. And last but not least, the Ugandan Knuckles, our new undefeated champion. Will he be defeated today? I hope so. I hope so. Oh my God. 
we may have a weapon here that's above the hall of fame like what's above the hall of fame the ugandan knuckles killer is that what we call this i think this weapon has pretty much killed everything hopefully i didn't forget anything it's been like two weeks since i've been in this rhythm you know since i've done a canterario boss to survive but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed cool weapon check out the mods it's a very laggy weapon but it's gonna look good in the thumbnail you know, I don't need to get Pudis to help make it look nice. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave OP weapon suggestions, of course. Don't forget that. You guys are literally the only ones that can keep this series going. I think next time we'll go back to the, uh, you know, the new world. Because we've been in this world for a while now. And I don't even know why I came to this world to start doing it again. But yeah, see you guys next time.